In the toolbox, select the rectangle, create the rectangle, give it a color. I chose a uh, dark blue color. And yeah, I chose the um, gradient. I give it the second color, a bright blue. Not bright, but uh, more brighter than the other one. Here I'm resizing the uh, object using pixel give it a uh, 1920 by 1080 blind it in the middle of the uh, document and here select the, uh, the hexagon I um, created a hexagon don't forget to give it a Six value of six for the corners. Here I'm converting the uh, hexagon to a path. Now resize the uh, hexagon. Enable the uh, uh, snap to center, so I can center it in the uh, middle of the background. Here I give it a stroke color. doesn't matter which color you choose because I will change the color later give it uh, some thickness for the uh, stroke here I deleted the fill color I don't need any color inside the uh, hexagon I only need the stroke here creating a um, getting the um, create tiled clone window follow my settings check this checkbox check the one in the bottom and give it a simply follow the scale the, the, uh, my steps a angle to 18 rows 21 and columns 1 create here I realized that the um, was a little bit bigger than I thought so I resized the uh, hexagon even though you can resize it later but I said why not resize it right now Make it a bit smaller and uh, got this result. Let's move the uh, original hexagon away from the uh, the copies, not the copies, the uh, clones. Okay, now exit the window, the clone window. Open the path effect window and give it an effect called um, fillet chamfer or something like that. Now go select the uh, all the um, what do you call them points vertices I don't know select them all and then we can make them rounded give it a round corner kept tweaking until I got the result that I wanted you can keep it sharp if you want to just an option after I was done. After you're done, you can close the uh, path effect window. They call it uh, live path effect, LPV, I guess. Uh, I changed the stroke color to gradient and gave it some uh, great colors. You can follow my. Uh, you can do the same colors as I did if you wanna have the same results. But as always, you can give it whatever you want whatever color you want yep. I'm giving it a black color for the um, to give an illusion of shadows you will see the results later the black color gives it a or any dark color gives it a illusion of um, you know, 
uh, shape. It's like a shape and give it some, you know, shadows inside. Not this one. No, 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 not like this. This step is very important. Select the uh, original hexagon and convert it to a path. So the uh, modifiers will be applied. There I'm saving the, my project before I lose everything. Here select every uh, clone and simply unlink the clones. Shift Alt D if you want if you want to use the shortcut. Uh, I'm willing to change the uh, gradient color. I want to remove the back co color from the uh, big hexagon. Now here I removed the back color from the ex uh, from the largest hexagon. Because uh, it, it looked very bad. Here I'm uh, deleted the original hexagon that we had. And now let's group all the hexagons together so, so it's easy to align it and easy to select it as well. Now let's use the align tools. Shift uh, Control A to get the uh, align tools. I move it outside, like I'm doing right here. Choose uh, last selected. So we want to choose our object and then choose the background. So we can align the uh, object to the background. And then align it horizontally and vertically in the center. So yeah, that's it. You can export it if you want to.